Hey y'all. Hey, hey, hey. I'm really I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm livid. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm so livid. Like I'm livid. I'm there. Peace, peace, peace to everyone. <sighs> Trying to bring my temperature down because I'm hot as hell right now. Because I'm livid. I'm livid. I'm livid. I'm livid. Whew. I'm livid. I can't even lie to nobody. Like, oh yeah, I don't never really wear makeup or nothing like that. You may either see me with glasses, no glasses. <laughs> I can't believe I had a kid by this moron, bro. And I'm not gonna lie to you, if the chat get on my nerves, I'm gonna turn it off. So y'all better be on y'all best behavior today, because today is not the day to fuck with me. I'm just not gonna even hold you to that. Like, y'all don't care. I'm not holding back from nobody today, because y'all gonna hear what the fuck I gotta say, because I'm... Ooh! <laughs> sick of this nigga, dog. I'm so sick of this lover. This nigga is stupid. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if he's still in love with me. He better go be in love with whoever the fuck he's supposed to be in love with and leave me the fuck alone. Stupid. Stupid, nigga. Like, stupid. Let young Pharaoh see his kids. Listen here, you stupid, ignorant ass bitch. Young Pharaoh can see his kid whenever the fuck he wants to. Young Pharaoh can go to Florida to visit females. Young Pharaoh can travel around the world to do whatever he wants to do. I bet you right now, if his Buffalo jeweler was to fucking call him, he would be in Buffalo quick, fast, in a hurry. Like I said, today is not the day, bitch. Stay in your fucking lane, you lame-ass bitch. Fuck is you talking about? Fuck is you talking about? That nigga could be here whenever he wants. I have literally tried over and over and over again to get him to come see his kid fuck out of here exactly fuck out of here fuck out of here he can see his kid whenever he want fuck out of here that nigga get on youtube and do all this crying shit he literally just talked to hey rude yesterday other than that he don't call here he expect my baby to call him he's four y'all wanna fuck out of here y'all wanna stick up for this nigga dog like that's what i don't get that's what i don't get i don't get why Y'all are even sticking up for this number. Like, this nigga. Like, you don't give a fuck for real, dog. This shit is for shits and giggles for him. Fuck out of here. I take care of my son. Me. Me, nigga. I make sure he's safe. Me. Me. Nobody else. I make sure he's doing activities. Me. Not young Pharaoh. He don't pay for shit. I just got a hundred dollars from that nigga for the first time in months. He don't give me shit for Hayru. Fuck is you talking about? Fuck are you saying to me, yo? I told y'all today is not the day, bro. Today is not the day. I'm tired of this nigga acting like he's an outstanding father. He has been nothing but a glorified fucking babysitter since day fucking one. Fuck out of here. 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 Fuck is you talking about? And I'm gonna play some of this bullshit ass video that he got going on with my name and since he want to be funny since he want to be funny let's be funny then nigga ha 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 since you want to be funny nigga since you want to be a funny nigga yeah <laughs> ha what the fuck is you talking about clown ass nigga what kills me what kills me what kills me is that when he called here yesterday I'm really tight. I'm not even going to hold you. I'm mad at myself for not having my phone and thinking like, like, <laughs> like not having my phone and thinking like a cruel ass nigga. Like that's how I'm mad about because if y'all would have heard how he was talking to me, this is why I say he needs to go get some help. The man called here yesterday as I'm walking out the door because I told y'all, I told y'all. 
that when he called here, I just closed the door and let him talk to Heyru. So as I'm closing the door to talk to Heyru, he's like, Camille, bring your fine ass over here. And I'm like, Pharaoh, what did you just say to me? I said, yo, you need help. I said, you cannot literally tell me you're going to mass murder me one second and then call me fine and think we're going to be key, key, key on the phone. That's why you're crazy. That's why I'm telling you to go get some help. And the only reason why I even entertained a text message at three o'clock in the fucking morning, you dipshits is so fucking stupid. Y'all ain't even look at the fucking time. I need to call here at two o'clock in the morning, two, three in the morning to speak to his fucking son. Fuck, that nigga switched personalities, basically. He called Heyru earlier in the day. He talked to him at like nine or 10. And then two hours later, now you want to make a video talking about how I'm a fraud? Nigga, the only fraud here is you. And that's why you hurting the way you hurting because you've been living a double life. You've been not doing the shit that you've been preaching on here on this fucking internet. That's why you hurt. That's why you hurt. That's why you hurt. That's why you hurt, bitch. Fuck is you talking about? You need to go check yourself in. That's what the fuck you need to go do. And your bitch need to get a leash on you, for real. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. He was drunk last night. Man, I don't... <laughs> like, that nigga really, like... It be, it's a persona of him. One of his personalities loves me. That's when we cool. When that persona come out. That's who was out yesterday. Then he switched. Crazy ass nigga. Doodle -doo ass songs, nigga. You ain't make it as a rapper yet. You ain't gonna make it. Fraud ass nigga. I'm really gonna play. <laughs> Yo, 2 a.m., 3 a.m. phone calls. Fuck is you talking about? Go then. I see you in here, girl. Well, ooh. My baby mama. Hey, baby mama. Because <laughs> fraud ass nigga. You've been rapping since 2010, nigga, when I met you. Excuse me, 2011, nigga. That first mixtape was the hardest one. After that, your shit was trash. Trash ass nigga. Trash. Shit was trash. Fuck out of here. Everybody keep talking about pressing charges. To be honest, don't the nigga got court that he said he not going to? Why well, I gotta press charges? He about to send himself to jail. He just cut the ankle monitor off and showed it to the world. <laughs> Cut the angle monitor off and showed it to the fucking world. He's going to jail. He's going to send himself to jail. Screaming. All you're doing is screaming on this he shit. He cut you in the dark cloud. He cut you in the dark cloud. Nigga, 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 fuck you, like, bitch gotta, ass nigga. I gotta do. I gotta do. I gotta respond. Talking about he I gotta, gotta respond. She's playing on my name. She's lying. She's playing on my name. She's lying. She lying. Right here, right? I'm like, what's all this shit? This gonna be the first time ever. That y'all ever seen me just get up and get on the end and I ain't even brush my shit yet. This is the first time ever y'all know. I don't believe that. <laughs> uh, I don't believe that. You just have y'all not seen this nigga on the internet just all the time? Nigga, you stop lying to the world. You know you ain't washed your ass before and been online. Nigga, you went 24 hours one time of being online. Straight. Just screaming at people. I remember that I brush my teeth, wash my teeth. And then when do you sleep? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just like, when do you sleep? Like, when do you speak? Like, when do you sleep? Bro, I talked to you at three in the morning. You literally must have slept for an hour because three hours later there was a video up about me. You sleep deprived. You need help. Nigga, crazy ass, psychopath ass nigga, bro. Like, fuck out here. <laughs> Nigga, you're not country rap. Oh, well, and, and then who keep arguing with females online? You ain't even go this hard for polite, bro. You ain't even go this hard for polite. That's the part that has me tripped out. No, I'm not I'm watching this whole thing. This shit's an hour story. long. You got an I'm hour gonna, just to gonna, speak on me. Tell the whole motherfucking story. Now, my, let me let y'all know something right now. It let me, kills let me, let me, me that my son right looks like this nigga, bro. I don't know what motherfuckers are saying, but let me, let me... Let me I don't watch the internet, nigga. You are the internet, nigga. You're the most internet-ass nigga there is. First of all, 4189, fuck you and get off my baby mom dick, bro. Fuck out of here. I don't even know why I gotta... I may have to turn these chats off today, bro. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna hold you. Today may be the day. 
Wait, he cut off his ankle monitor? Yes, he cut off his ankle monitor on TV, on National Internet World Ride. Okay, I gotta get through this shit. I don't like listening to this nigga talk. And my full name is on here, so you wanna be funny? Ah, uh, you an internet ass nigga. You are. But as soon as I blew up, and as soon as I got a got on the mainstream, mainstream, here this bitch come with her channel, Camille Speaks Out. Speaks Out about what? I've been had a YouTube channel. He knew I had a YouTube channel. He would not help me promote my YouTube channel before we came to this. I'm not gonna lie to you. Discourage me. I'm easily. That is one thing that I had to work on. Being easily discouraged by people not helping me and support me when they're supposed to. So that's the only reason why, the, and the only reason why I even, even got on this internet is because this nigga lied about what happened in Houston. And I'm so mad that when I blocked his number, I hit the check mark that says delete the whole thread. That's what I'm mad about. Because everything that he stated in this shit is kind of, like I had, like the text messages are gone, but is what it is like you're a liar i've known my son mom since i was 17. that's true i told her i wanted to be polygamous since i was 17. that's not true he told me he wanted to be polygamous when he was in jail it's a timeline straight nigga timeline straight nigga when you were in jail when we were on the dance floor as y'all call it nigga that's when you told me you wanted to be polygamous nigga you was 17 and running the streets nigga you wasn't even thinking about a relationship and the bitch binky just broke your fucking heart you were still crying and BBB over Binky. That big ass feral tattoo used to be a female's name on his chest. When he was 14, he got the big ass, he got a girl's name and she crushed that nigga. Was fucking everybody in the hood. Was she not here? Fucking everybody in the hood. Fucking uh, doing whatever the fuck she was doing. Everybody said she was just fucking around on that nigga. Broke his fucking heart. Didn't know what to do. Talking about he was going to kill himself over that girl at 14. So that's when he got it changed into Pharaoh. The fuck is you talking about? When I met you, you wasn't even thinking about a relationship, nigga. And neither was I. It was 17 and 18, bro. I was 18, you were 17. 17. I've never, we've never had a physical altercation since I was never. 17. We was friends when I was 17, okay? We were. We was we was friends. He about to say some fuck shit. We I know friends, it. Okay? We were friends. And she shot her shot at me. She shot her shot at me. So let me let me just let y'all know right now, right? My son's mom is lying about the incident. I'm gonna speak on the incident and then I'm gonna speak on how we met, okay? But she's lying. She's motherfucking lying. Now, peep game, right? Let me just share the screen real quick. But she cat, I gotta hear, I gotta clap her too. Now, look at this. She posted on Instagram, the day I get a real apology from this man will be the day, will be, you know, will be, excuse me, the day I get apology. You can't read? You can't read, nigga? Hold on, I got you. What I said on my Instagram was, the day I get a real apology from this man, pigs will be falling from the sky. That is it. That's what I said. Because you want to know why? And like I said, it's never no shots at Golden. But, um, you, on his Instagram story, it's just like, you know, Golden's a good mom. Such and such is a good mom. I apologize. Like, I this, I that. Yeah, like, it's just like, bro, like, even after that, it's just like on your story, but it's like, yo, I don't never get an apology. You don't never credit me as a mom. I've been busting my ass as a mom. Man, like, this shit's stupid. And my thing is this. Bitch, what apology? Nigga, because you put you your mean, hands on me in front of my fucking son. I would stupid. like to see him. Shout out to my damn son. I would like to I even sent him a picture. Because you want to know what got me tight? Uh, he licks out the car. I never let nobody hit licks out my car. And if he's talking about 2010, I promise you, I it's 2010 or 11. And you were selling weed. You were selling weed, bro. You were selling weed. Nothing else. Weed. With my son in the car and doing a... How do you know that? How do you know that I was having someone do some shit with your son in the car? Are you going off of what I did when I was 18, bro? You need to get over that shit. Because I never did nothing like that with my son in the car. And you have no proof of that, so stop saying it. You have no proof of that, so stop saying it. Carol, I did not swing on you first. 
Bitch, let me tell your fat ass something, bitch. If I would have swung on you first, I would have knocked your ass. And you did. He said, it's not a lie. You just convinced yourself of otherwise. I don't even care about this shit. It's the shit that he said about. And she started trying to pull my hair out. She chopped that man. Hey, nigga, sit down. I, I was like, okay, That's not it. Your body got her sat there the whole time. I don't even fucking care about half this shit. I don't know. Camille, how the fuck you been working hard all day? You been smoking weed and swimming in the pool? <sighs> I just gotta say this because I've never said this on none of these videos. When I said that I was on vacation, I literally was joking, but he hadn't seen his son for four months. So I'm like, no, like, yeah, like, I'm on vacation. Like, I'm on vacation. Take care of your kid. You haven't seen him. We're only here for a week. We're only here for a week, bro. Who all day? How the fuck you been working higher all day? I've been in the pool all day. I've been in the pool all day with your kid, bro. While you running around with your bodyguard getting tattoos and you supposed to be spending time with him because you haven't seen him in months. Clown shit. I was over here wilding, son. My son mine was over here wilding, being disrespectful. I never was. I said, listen. Where is it? I can't even do it on my phone. And I, no, bitch. In private, you be acting like a man. You be acting like a big ass motherfucking lion in private. And then be talking about something, oh, well, Pharaoh don't like my personality, and, and, and he just don't like, I, he don't like my personality. When I tell her, yo, you need to be more feminine. I don't like the way. If I need to be more feminine, nigga, like, you need to stop being feminine. When you came home from jail, I had to pump my own gas, take my own trash out, because you were paranoid that whoever was coming after you was coming after you. I paid all the bills. Because well, he's talking about he paid the bills. How did you pay the bills? And when you came home from jail, I made sure you had an apartment to go home to. And it wasn't that I just put it in my name. Because I'm not that stupid. I was madly in love with you and you were madly in love with me. So you can stop that front. You can stop that front. You can stop that front. You can stop that front, bro. You can stop that front. Oh, that's Dusty. You can stop that front, bro. You can stop that. Stop that. And look at the chubby cheeks. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Talking about I I tell you told me to put an apartment in my name. Stop that. Nigga, where did you get money from? Stop that. Stop that. Now if you mad because you fell in love with a bigger girl, that's on you. That's on you. That's on you, bro. That's on you. That's on you. I always had meat on my bones. That's on you. That is on you. That is on you. You, bro. Look at this shit, gold. It is a stack of these shits, bro. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about, you clown ass nigga? Stacks of these shits, bro. Pulled out another stack. Come on. Hello, big arms. Nigga. Hello. Oh, when I brought your brothers to see you? Don't forget who kept the family close. Don't forget. <laughs> Don't forget. Forget who, who let you have, who, who you know, told you to have a relationship with your mother. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't never forget who was there. Don't, baby boy. Don't. Don't forget. Don't forget. I ain't gonna, these are my peoples though, but I don't want they facing here in this drama. But don't forget who brought your friends to come see you. Don't forget. Don't forget. Never forget. Never forget. You clown ass nigga. Never forget. Never forget. Never forget. Fuck is you talking about? Fuck. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Like I said, if you are embarrassed by my size for whatever reason, that's on you. That's on me. Big smile in every picture. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Fuck is you talking about? You're lucky I can't find them jail letters. When I find them jail letters, I'm posting them. I'm posting them. I'm posting them. Posting them, bro. Posting them. 
So that's why I don't get it. And then he's talking about he paid the bills. Nigga, how? Explain to me, fresh out of jail, you weren't, you didn't go back to the streets. You did not get famous on the internet until months later and you didn't get paid immediately. How are you paying the bills? The moment that you were able to pay the bills, I left. I left. I packed my shit and left. And left you that apartment because you wanted to start relationships with people that you knew for two weeks, bro. When you first came home from jail, you tried to add on a female that you knew for two weeks and y'all was in love. You kept doing the same shit over and over and over again. And when Yogini came around, I finally had enough. And I left. Packed my shit and I left. And I left. Used to be doing whatever she do. Now you might say, Pharrell, why would you why would you talk to your son mom? Because for, and when I was talking to my son mom, she cute, you feel me? Like I come from a good white neighborhood and come to the fucking ghetto. Come and just because <laughs> I don't even care about that shit no more. Like, I'm trying to find the shit that had me. This is what made me get all alive. Away from me. And I'm so far ahead there, like wait for me. Then my jury game up there, like wait for me. Nigga, where's your jury? Did you, you have me? to sell it? <laughs> me and my little son, me and my little dude. Okay, now hold up. I'm trying to find this picture. Y'all, oh, here it comes. Picture of me and yeah. Here it comes. Here it comes. Because this shit that. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh. One second. Tight. Before I tell y'all the story. Hold on. Before I tell you the story. Let me see. Captain this ass picture, y'all. Chef Yak got it. And Chef Yak, Chef fuck Yak you too. Because you was a bitch ass nigga. Because Chef. let me get on you real quick. Chef, yeah, you was a bitch ass nigga because you went to those visits with me. You drove to a couple of those visits with me. So you just sit here and continuously entertain this nigga shit is just crazy to me. Crazy to me. Crazy. You was a clown. You was a clown. Certified. Certified. Certified clown. Yeah, got it. Hold on though. Hold on though, real hold on though, real quick. Flip. Y'all ask Chef Yak. But now, but now uh oh it's definitely it's definitely her turn to them. It's definitely her turn to them. Clown I, chasing I ass nigga. Jail, I'm like, listen, I don't want to go to a halfway house because it's got all these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Can and then it's like on parole, you can't talk to your friends, you can't talk, but yet you got us all in the same guy, but we all in here we're in jail. So now people are violating the road. Name. So, and I was paying the rent. You were not I paying the rent. I was paying the rent. You were not paying the okay? rent. Okay. And I said the design. I paid the I rent. I worked two jobs, y'all. If y'all been watching for these past five or six years, however many years it has been, I've been working two jobs, 16 hours out of a 24 hour day. What bills do you think you are paying? Did you forget? You ain't pay shit. Pay nothing. But I was paying the rent. Somebody said we heard this story before. And I was paying the rent from that point on right there. But I told her to eat healthy, read, and work out. That's all I'm I so tired of hearing that shit. That's healthy. not what Why happened. Why did me and my son mom break up? We broke up because you're a lying ass, womanizing ass nigga. Everything you do is a lie. I was here from you when you had nothing. And then as soon as it was your turn to like show the love or like reverse, like it, you just weren't doing that. Like you were not doing that. You were not doing that. You were not doing that. He was paying rent, y'all. He paid rent after I left. Because I left. But while I was there in the making and when he wasn't home, I had that apartment two months before he came home. I was paying the rent. With what money? Okay. Her ex nigga Mike. Who Probably the nigga that talked, right? Now, here's the thing. Motherfucking, she never. Oh. And. Camille, now go to the spin city, whoever the fuck you are. I don't know nothing about no scams, y'all. Forever screaming scams. People were throwing their money at this man left and right. I don't believe it was scams. I believe people just believe whatever the fuck they hear on the internet. And when someone says donate to me, that's what they do. 
fuck is you talking about? Like, I don't give a fuck about no scams. I don't got no money. I don't give a fuck if he was doing scams or not doing scams. At this point, I didn't get shit. What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about no scams. Bitch ass nigga. Fuck you. Clown. When she was supposed to be going to the gym. And correction, I did go to the gym. I just went with my ex because you was stuck with who you wanted to be with. <laughs> I did go to the gym. I meditated. I went to the gym. I went to the water. I did everything that I said I was going to do. I just went with somebody else. You didn't know who was with me. If you want me to be honest with you, I did do those things. Just with somebody else. No, eat that. So this bitch told me she was going to the gym. Now, and it says I channel spirit. I've been told y'all I channel. When I was asleep, I got woman. It was like three something in the morning during the witching hour. And I woke up and I told her, I said, yo. He did. And I'm here with nigga you talking to. I'm calling. You he got did. me you sitting here because I'm like, bitch, you got me trying to invest in you. And bitch, you going around the corner to and I didn't, I didn't have sex with him either. I will be honest with you. I did not have sex with that man. Because if I had sex with that man, I would tell y'all. Because that would hurt him so bad if I could honestly admit that I had sex with him. I would say that. I would say that. I would say that. I would honestly say that. Like, if I had sex with my ex while I was with this man, I would have been said that by now. Literally. I want to say it just to literally hurt his feelings. But I didn't. I didn't have sex with him. But at that time... <laughs> you didn't want nothing to do with me like that's the part I don't that you missing out on you didn't want nothing to do with me you did not want to be with me you wanted to be with who you wanted to be with so I let that happen let that slide but I'm supposed to sit around and be stupid cause you treating me like shit you know what it feel like to watch somebody treat you like shit then treat the next person that's supposed to be in a polygamous relationship with you like they walk on water and then they gang up on you like no no she coming with me i'm i'm, I'm sitting here up best and now they're doing push up they she ain't he wasn't doing nothing me and shit. my son mom have not been in a relationship since that point on yeah. we were not even together Facts. at the time this bitch has came to my house trying to fight gold she even did. told me because i didn't even know here it goes she DNA test. listen she is okay Oh, somebody said do a DNA test. Listen, she coming with me. I'm pulling her. Period. Y'all got me fucked up. And K. Now, with that being said, I'm I'm sitting here wasting money and time and energy trying to motherfucking, trying to motherfucking, uh, what you gonna call it? Like, fuck out of here. Trying to motherfucking um, invest in her. You were not spending no time investing in me. You were on the internet arguing with Shanetta. I would just like to say, I have vivid memories of me crying my eyes out in the next room over while he's on live with Sonetta while he doing the shit that he doing and like literally being with that man was like being with a wall literally being with that man was like being with a wall I knew nothing that was going on in his life I knew nothing about what he was investing in I knew nothing about see ya I knew nothing about um, even when he did, did the SOS shit, had no idea that he even started a brand. You build whatever you built with whoever you built it with. You know what, Spin City? Because I'm about to call your mother a whore in a minute, so let me just put you in timeout. All right. So you didn't invest nothing in me. I gave you my time. I gave you my money. I still have bills from when we were together six years ago. That apartment has $3,000 worth of damages. Whose name is it in? Hmm. Did you ever pay that? No. Nigga. In here doing push ups with you, all kind of shit, and you got damn cheating. I'm I should have cheated. I should have fucked on a nigga. I should have. I should have. I should have fucked on the nigga. I definitely should have cheated. I I should have cheated. Should have. I should have did that shit. Oh, we about to get blocked too. Ask me about again. I don't know what y'all talking about. Go ask that nigga. Whatever the fuck you speaking on about scams and shit, go ask that nigga because. I don't fucking know, nigga. Fuck out of here.
they cheated. Now here's the thing. Boom. Nigga, you cheated multiple times. And if you get cheated on once after cheating a hundred times, bro, take that shit and eat it, bro. That's what the fuck I'm tired of men doing, for real, though. You cheated multiple times. I caught you in a shower on a video call with somebody. I've been in your phone and you promising people that you're going to be in a polygamous relationship with them without consulting me. Nigga, what? You was out of town staying with bitches. Like, come on, bro. Come on. It don't even matter. Like, if I cheated, so the fuck what? You deserved it. I didn't pop out the gate and cheat on you. I didn't cheat on you when you was in jail. So now, out of nowhere, I cheated on you when you came home? Make it make sense, you bitch ass nigga. Make it make sense. So we broke up, right? Now, me and my son, mom have not been in a relationship since that point on. We were not even my together so fucking when I was dry. with I my son. I mean, when, when we had my son. Now, during this entire time... We were not together when we had our son, which proves my point. If you did not want to fuck with me, you did not have to fuck with me. You went out your way to fuck with me. You went out your way to come find me. You could have not talked to me. Like, you did not have to... You were technically talking to two people at the time. You <laughs> did not have to come fuck me, bro. Like, you did not. I didn't call you to fuck you. Like, I did not call you to fuck you. One time you left your guinea in the car. <laughs> One time you left your guinea in the car just to come to my parents' house. So fuck me in the basement. Like, stop playing. Stop playing. <laughs> like, uh, but you want to keep talking about me and my size, nigga. You must love big girls. Just admit it. Admit, it you admit that you love the extra fluff, bro. Just admit it. It's okay. A lot of men do. It's okay. It's all right, baby boy. Just admit it. That's what you're embarrassed about. You're embarrassed that you, now that everybody knows who your first baby mom is, that's what you're embarrassed about. You're embarrassed because I'm a bigger girl. I'm not embarrassed by that. I am who I am. And I've been who I am. So, hey, so be it. That's what you're mad about. That's what you're embarrassed about. Because everybody keep asking you. That's what you're mad about. That's why you mad. I don't care, nigga. Time. This bitch has came to my house trying to fight Golden. I did. Okay? I didn't even know. She told me she didn't even know if my son was mine. Boom. That's what she has... told me that. No. But she was crazy with my son. You can ask Golden. I had a whole breakdown. That's what made me get on this internet right here. Because... I keep telling y'all what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to play with my son. I never, never once told that man that I did not know that my son was his son. Never once did I tell him that. Now, what I did tell him was because I don't want to go through shit like this. I believe, me personally, I believe that men should get a DNA test mandatory, off rip. Off rip. Off rip, men should get a, before they sign a birth certificate, they should get a DNA test. And that is why he was never on my son's birth certificate. We were in the hospital and I told him like, if you want a DNA test, you can get a DNA test right now because I'm not dealing with, oh, this isn't my kid. <laughs> this isn't my kid later down the line. I don't play when it comes to Hey Rue. I've never told that man that. The only person that I was having unprotected sex with was him. There was no doubt in my mind. The other, and what's crazy is I was talking to somebody else. I was. So when I finally was talking to somebody else and we were getting serious, I had to tell them like, I had to tell them, like, damn, I'm pregnant by somebody else. So that, like, that shit right there is what, what has me on this internet right now. I'm not going to hold you. That shit did it for me. Because don't play with my character. I've never once told you. I've never been that type of female. I know men who go through shit like that. I, but even and still, if he look like him now, what I'm saying is how dare he come out his mouth right now and say that shit. I never told him I did not think Hayru was his. At 
as soon as I found out that I was pregnant, I sent him the pregnancy test and said, now what you gonna tell your wife? Because y'all know he married. That's what I, that's what I said to him. And if, and then my thing is, if you thought, if I told you that while I was pregnant, why would you be at the baby shower? Why would you be bringing me food? Why would you be at doctor, you know, like some doctor's appointments? Why would you do things like that? If that's what I, if that's what I said to you. Now in the hospital, cause Golden, now I know he believes this shit. Yeah. Now. I know he believed whatever the fuck he's saying because Golden told me like, yeah, he came home from the hospital and had a whole breakdown talking about you told him Heyru wasn't his. I never told him Heyru wasn't his. I basically begged him to get a DNA test before he signed the, the fucking birth certificate. That's what I said. Like, that's what I said to him. I said, before you get this D, before you sign here, get a DNA test. That's what I said to him get a dna test you have the right to get a dna test like i'm not being funny but you have the right to get a dna test so he took that went home and then basically said oh Camille said that he's not mine nigga i would never put no man through nothing like that ever if there was ever a doubt in my mind i would have told you the first day like that's that is what's crazy. That is crazy to me. And I'm supposed to be going to this party right now. Like, I, whew, bro, like, that is what's crazy to me. That is what's crazy to me. I never told him. I never came out my mouth and said that my son was not his. And then, like, bro, like, you keep getting on this internet and saying, wow, shit, my baby is going to see these shits because he's not going to be able to talk to you. We can't have a civil conversation. You can't call Hey Ru without using what Hey Ru said in a video. You can't, we can't talk to you on a phone and then like, I, we can't do nothing. Like you can't, we can't, nothing that is normal we can do. <laughs> like, like I just be trying to wrap my head around it sometimes, but I just, I, I honestly cannot because I, I don't understand. Yesterday was the comments this man was on the phone. And here we are with an hour video with Camille Carthon as a fraud. Marshall, Jeannie, Daniels, leave me alone. Go get some help because that's what you need. I don't even know what the rest of the fuck this video said. I had a whole goddamn moment. But I'm like, that's my son regardless because I love him. No. But this bitch, after my son was born, she told me. It's a possibility he might not. I never. Born. And then he's talking about after he was born. Like, I would never do that. Like, I would, like, that is heartbreaking to me. <laughs> like, for real, though. Like, and I know somebody who went through that. Y'all, it's Jeannie with a, I think it's Jeannie with a G, to be honest with y'all. Make sure y'all spell it right. Um, like a genie in a bottle. But. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Like, but for real though, like I don't, like I would never do that to a man. I would never do that to a man. Like I put that on my dead grandmother. I put that on my dead cousin. I would never do that to a man. If there was a, if I wasn't sure, I would not allow you to act like I'm a hundred percent positive. And then my problem with Fero is if you had these type of problems at the time that you had at the time that you had these problems, why didn't you confront me? Or why didn't you tell me? That's why all this shit is coming out like this. You had years to speak your mind. If something bothers you and is on your mind for more than 48 hours, you need to speak up. That's why he bringing up shit from 10 years ago. That's why he bringing up me having men... Um, drop in hey Ru off for work after before work because you never spoke on those things or how you truly felt that is your problem that's not my fucking problem there's shit that i never said to you that i should have said to you but guess what i gotta bite that bullet because i'm not bringing up shit from 20 fucking years ago like the fuck is wrong with you bro Go get a journal and write in it. Fuck out of here. Out my life. 
But Talk about he swear to God on his life. Man, I wish that nigga was real so he would just uh, strike that nigga down. He just keep like, lying. My baby. You feel me? But she even told me that. No, I didn't. didn't. Know he was mine because she was fucking with some nigga. So this bitch be, these bitches be lying. Now, no. with that being said, peep game, right? And when I started fucking another nigga, I told him. Like, that's the part that, like, I, I just don't get it. Like, I don't know. Like, I honestly don't know who this is. Like, I don't know who this man is that I had a baby by. Now, she she brings three different niggas to my house. I've never brought three different niggas to my house, to his house. There were two different niggas. And on, the one was consistent. One was just a, one was a one-time thing. One was consistent and they had conversations. Talked to him. Spoke to him. Like, talked to him. Spoke to him slapped up each other so i don't understand what the problem is now and if i didn't want people in my business i literally will pull him on camera maybe i can do an interview with me sitting here and him sitting there and we can just talk it out like that <laughs> because this shit is crazy to me. i told you bitch i'm like bitch listen i used to gangbang don't bring no niggas to my house because even and that's what i'm saying that's what this paranoid shit he <sighs> nothing ever happened to him like i don't know like, I'm just not even gonna keep watching this shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna skip through it again because I hate you listening to him talk. Fuck ass niggas coming around my son and goddamn. Another thing, anyone that you I have brung, anyone that I have brung around my son is a full time father. The man that he's talking about, that's a random nigga. I met him the same time that I met Pharaoh. I've known him 10 years of my life. He has a son that lives with him that he take care of. He's put to school. He feeds him. He has him. All day, every day. He's a full-time father. Unlike you. Unlike you. You've never been a full-time father. So unlike you, the man that I had around, Hey Ru, full-time father, cool as hell, and you had multiple opportunities to have a normal conversation with him if you really wanted to get to know him or anything along those lines. Hold on, here come Hayroot. Now I'm gonna have to get out of here. What's wrong? Mommy's on on live right um, now. Me and Brandon actually made a mess with your plant, but we'll clean it up. With my plant? It was Brandon's fault. What do you mean, my plant? We Why are y'all downstairs and not upstairs? Okay, how about this? Come in the TV room and mommy will clean up the plant. Mm -hmm. It's okay. No, we got it. No, 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 Come here, Hey Root. Come here. Come here. I got it, Mom. Come here. I love that you want to clean it up. You listening? Look at me. Yeah. Look at me. I love that you want to clean it up, but Mommy will clean it up, and that's okay, okay? Hey. All right, so, look, uh-uh-uh-uh-uh. Go back in the TV room, okay? You can go downstairs in a minute. Can you close this door back for me, please? They knocked down my plants. This is like the third plant. <laughs> I'm scared to go downstairs. <laughs> oh, every time I get this nigga energy, something happens, yo. Every fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> so bad about my plan. <laughs> Women started polygamy. If I'm not mis if I'm not mistaken, polandry. Y'all should look it up. I had to look it up because I thought polygamy was just one a one way thing. But no, in certain countries, women have multiple husbands. Ah, I definitely looked that up. Damn, that's deep about my plans, bro. <laughs> Do bread and right. Under the bus. <laughs> Go there. He said it was red as fall. You heard him? <laughs> I can't even be mad now. He know like I've probably done now. Like I was like, I don't know. It's like me because I'm sitting in the house reading and playing the game and minding my You business. don't read. You skim. 
Yeah, hold up, bro. Uh, you see. Then they wanted to be my friend. But when we was together, they never fucked with me. Oh, my parents? Oh, so you talk about my parents too? Damn, bro. <sighs> that's not true. My parents did not mess with him in the beginning. But that's because... <laughs> Women definitely started polygamy, right? I'm right to say that. Women started polygamy. Don't nobody talk about po uh, polandrily or polyamorous. You could be polyamorous, which just basically means you, the female finds people that she can, you know, bring into the circle. The men find women that he can bring into the circle and y'all just come together and be a community. You can be that. There's so many other things besides just polygamy. Um, my parents did not mess with him in the beginning. But who cares about all of this shit? Like, I don't even care. Like, they did, like, you know, ease into him later down the line. And then once I had, hey, rule, like, it's over. Like, that's, you, you in here. You know, listen, I'm getting money. I'm getting money. Come get some money. You not doing shit. But you working at the YMCA, you not doing shit. I was working at the YMCA and working at the bank and working wherever else I needed to be. I did not want to get on the internet. I will say that. Damn, my hair came out. <clears throat> yeah, no. Same as he's jealous of Golden. I honestly believe that Marshall Daniels, because I gotta start calling him Pharaoh. I believe that Marshall Daniels is jealous that I have a mother and a father who has loved me forever. They've been together forever. Um, I'm done with this. I can't watch. I can't listen to his voice no more. He aggravates me. Haruda came in here and caught me down too, though. I'm not gonna hold you. So, uh, I just, I don't know, bro. Over the shit. But, um, yeah, like, I believe he's jealous that I've had parents to take care of me. He's mentioning his father now, but, like, the way he's acting, nobody shit when he don't be doing shit. He, he literally does not be doing nothing. And now you're a porn star, bro. So embarrassing. Like, your son's gonna see you talk about that you got a sex tape out. He literally sits in the house all day long, but then knocks somebody else for sitting in the house. I have not, don't say I'm not doing nothing. I've been working 16 hours. And then when I ask you to help me promote my soap business, I don't even know if anybody ever seen the post, but it was one time I'm like, yo, Pharaoh, can you help me get my, like my business page, like jumping? Like he shared my post and put three fire emojis. I said, Pharaoh, what is that supposed to do? Like, that's not like, you're not making a connection that we are actually cool and know each other. I'm doing a pop-up shop here in Buffalo. Somebody pull up like, um, you know, yeah, young Pharaoh, yada, yada, yada. He promote my page all the time. You know, like, he just be sharing my shit and be talking about how fire it is. I'm like, that's my kid's father. He looked at my Instagram numbers and said, why your numbers look like this if it's your kid's father? You never supported me. Never. You have never supported me. Never. And he's talking about he bought stuff for my soap business. He wants to talk about he bought my soap molds. The soap molds are $5. So, Pharaoh, besides buying soap molds, please tell me what you what you did for me in my soap business. <clears throat> I bought my soap stuff. He'll be going to jail real soon. I, I'm just going to let him destroy his stuff, but he's not going to sit on here and t say the shit that he's saying about me. And then you got, like, my full name on here. Like, you're a coward, bro. You're really a coward-ass nigga, like. He never dropped bands on nothing for me. Oh, paid for me to get in my apartment. That was it. Because, I mean, you should because the apartment that I got for both of us, you basically made it for you and another girl. So, like, he never dropped bands on my soap business. He never gave me mad money. I didn't even know he had mad money until he moved to Texas. I didn't know none of that. None of that. None of that. And he was living a double life. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, somebody was like, you know, I can't picture him, you know, being with a loose woman. I can. 
I can picture him. I could females have always been a problem though. Like he had been on this, and then I feel like people don't think about this. No one ever, <laughs> nobody ever sat back and was like, this man literally spends hours on the internet and doesn't get off till night. When does he have time for a relationship and better yet, his kids? People like, and that's why I feel like everybody's so hurt too, because y'all was hoodwinked, like <clears throat> y'all was in a relationship with who y'all thought he was. I was, y'all was in a relationship with who y'all thought he was, but then his true colors came out besides the beating on, like putting his hands on female shit, that shit is new to me. But how he's acting and how he never takes responsibility, that shit has always been him. That shit has always been him, but what he always did was he always called somebody, <coughs> um, excuse me. He always called somebody like another female on the phone to like back him up. Like he would just be lying the whole time. Like even the first time that Golden, she was like, you're completely different than what they like tried to paint you as to be. I'm like, I don't know what they was over there saying about me. Like, but yeah, but I'm, I'm cool. And he never, he has never, and that's the problem. He's never taken accountability. That's not true. That's not true. When he was in his right state of mind before he moved to Texas, um, we was at his sister's son's birthday party and he sat me. This is why I made like a decision to even go to Texas because he sat me down and finally was like, you know what? Like, I'm sorry how I treated you. I have no idea. Like he was like, you know, I had to sit down, do some shadow work and figure out why I treat women, why I treat women the way that, um, why I treat women the way I treat women. And, you know, like he knows that he knows that it deals with his mom and he knows that he just won't admit it to the world for whatever reason. But he never slept. Y'all like he never slept. Like he's been living a double life. And then for even for him to say, and then he said some shit about me giving him head in Texas. I did not give him head in Texas. Did not give him head in Texas. Um, and then he talking about he mad because we didn't fuck. We did have sex in Texas. Why are you constantly lying? You called me from upstairs to downstairs. How would you forget that? Like, I don't, and it's just <laughs> like, I don't, I don't. First of all, I don't know nothing about this Martina girl. I don't care. If you ask me, she's the pimp and he the hoe. That's what I told him the other day. Those are the messages that he, if he would have moved up a little bit, y'all would have seen me calling her the pimp and he the hoe. People like he on drugs. I honestly just feel like he's guilty. Yeah, like I honestly, I honestly feel like he's guilty about the life that he has been living because it has not been honest and has not been true. I feel like um, he knows that he knows that so why he body shame you so much i don't under this is what i'm trying to tell y'all this man something is fucking wrong with him because behind closed doors the man be on my body now i'm not gonna say recently i'm not gonna say recently no but like the past but texas before the hitting incidents on my body he body shamed me because he's and i'm in public now and everybody see what, what size I am. That's what it is. He's embarrassed by that for whatever reason, but that's on him to be embarrassed about, not me. I don't care. Talking about whole time me and Camille didn't do nothing. Like, nigga, what? That's what I'm saying. I'm so mad I deleted those messages, bro. I'm so mad I deleted those messages. I tried to go to Verizon and get them shits, dog. They gone. They gone. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I'm so mad I deleted those messages. Like, but you're not going to play me, bro. You're not going to play me. You're going to play yourself, nigga. Fuck out of here. That's why That's why you don't never give me credit for what it is because, A, I be on your, I be at your neck every time. Every time at your neck. When he will coming down here? He's not. I'm not even going to lie to you. He's not. He's not coming down there until you get some help. And that's and even last, that conversation last night was me being nice. We wasn't even arguing. If he was arguing, he was arguing with himself. I wasn't arguing with him. I said what I had to say, but that's what I'm saying. Like, 
<laughs> That's why he be body shaming. He listens to Kevin Samuels. I don't know why people listen to Kevin Samuels either. He's a single man and he damn near act like he gay. Like, I don't get that either. But to each his own, I guess. But... <laughs> Girl, I think he embarrassed by my size, though. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm the big, like, I'm out of all the females that y'all have seen him talk to, I am the 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 bigger one, but it's like I don't care. Um, so I'm gorgeous, thank you. And I'm not even done up. I'm about to go to this party and I'm probably about to be really late. Yeah, and then it's, and then that's another thing. I whoever what what the fuck do moves away from baby then harass you about seeing him i literally have done everything i can do to even make that work hey rule was going down there to see him um hey rule was going down there to see him but as soon as him and golden broke up which had to be around january or february they broke up her rule was not down there so when me and her rule came down there in june that's the first time he's seen his dad since March, because Amma's birthday. Haru was there for Amma's birthday. March. The last time he's seen his dad was in March. So I'm coming in the house, like, first of all, to get to Houston, this is when all the flights were being canceled. Me and Haru were stranded in Charlotte. Stranded. I had family in Charlotte, luckily, that I can stay with the night. I paid for our tickets to get to Houston. <laughs> I paid for our tickets. Is this my name? I paid for our tickets to get to Houston. That's why I was like, roll me up three blunts, nigga, because woo, it's been a journey. I got stranded with my four-year-old. The line was ridiculous. I didn't even talk to nobody. I never got my money back for those tickets. I ended up paying for a brand new flight spot on. And yeah, like spot on. I like, and then um like, I paid for our tickets to get there. I finally get there. They lost my luggage. I had no luggage in Houston for a day. I had to go to Target and get clothes. I had a stressful time. Like, <laughs> like I had a stressful time getting there. Like, yeah, roll me. Like, and I'm, but y'all see me all the time on here. Y'all see me. I play all day. And I feel like for him to even take me being like, oh, I'm on vacation, seriously? Like, if that was your problem, A, we could have had a conversation about that. If you secretly were upset about that, we could have had a conversation about that and you would have understood that was a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. That doesn't sound right, but I don't know. That wasn't, like, I don't know. This was <laughs> miscommunication. But, and, like, when I went to Texas, we were only there for a week. We were staying for a week. I was supposed to, like, find a house or whatnot and then um, come back home until all of that shit was settled. But I was up every day, every morning. I cleaned that kitchen every morning. I picked up after the kids every day I was there. Like, Golden had to go to school. You had to shoot a video shoot. I kept Amma. Like, none of that stuff is being mentioned just i was just in there doing nothing no that's not true i woke up every morning when i was in houston me and listen because brit was there we walked the we walked the neighborhood like three four or five times like when i was there i woke up early as hell was up just as early as him i would get hey rude jess we would get in the pool or we would go do something if it wouldn't have been for golden we would have been stuck in the house out of town like and then, like, that's when people don't realize, like, that's when, like, either, as soon as I touched down, like, she came and got me from the airport, not him. Like, she came and got me from the airport. She took us out places. She even got a video of us at the bounce place. Like, we did, we did everything we were doing together with the kids. And then it's just like, and then even in my phone, oh, I'm on my phone, so I can't show you. There's text messages of him. The other day, he's like, I want you and Haru to come down here and live with me. No. I made that mistake once to believe that you were going to do right. No. <clears throat> Excuse me. I knew better. My thing with Pharaoh is, I know I have to see it to believe it. Period. That After we broke up, that's what it was with him. Even though he gonna say he gonna do something, I have to see it. 
So for me, I feel like I should have known better to even go down there. I see that he did, he, you know, was making the money that he said he was making, but I should have just known better. Like this man is always going to amp up his words. And then like you offered me to move down there. I didn't say I wanted to move down there. You told me to, you asked me to. So <laughs> he didn't. We went. That is right. Me and her went. Me and Golden went and got the bed for Brit to sleep on. Went and bought her an air mattress to sleep on because the room she was staying in didn't have a a bed. And then me and Heru had the guest room upstairs. He is really lonely, but he needs to just, that's what I'm saying. Be honest with yourself about what's going on in your life. Just like how I have to dig deep and figure out why I may do certain things or why I may act a certain way. He needs to sit down and do the same thing. I hold myself. <laughs> um, Shantae Rich, I'm going to tell y'all again. I'm not playing about Golden, okay? Bitch, we don't even know you. You look like a roach, first of all. Sit your roach ass down. Miss D, I take the threat seriously, but he is going to jail at the end of this month. That's how I feel, like, if you ask me. He's going to send himself to jail. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I got to go. Damn, it's 3 o'clock. I'm supposed to be at this party. <sighs> Yeah, like, fuck out of here. But that's what it is, and that's why he mad. He's mad because I normally would cave in. I normally would give in and be like, you know, okay. But now I'm not putting, um, <laughs> I'm not putting my baby in risk like that because I feel like you're having manic attacks and I feel like he's four and he can't defend himself. He can't get out the house. He can't call for help. You know, he can't nothing. Like. Um. Like, I just can't. You are at risk too. I'm, first, I'm in Buffalo. He's in Texas. And hopefully he on the no-fly list. That's how I feel. <clears throat> I don't know. Like, this shit is just, like, this shit is just crazy that I, he self-sabotages. He self-sabotages all the time. That is his problem. Like, he self-sabotages to the T. In our relationship, he self sabotage. Like, even when me and Golden be talking, she was like, yeah, like, he just constantly just doing shit. Like, I honestly think he wants to go to jail. I think that he knows, I think deep down inside, I know he just threatened world news, but, you know, I got mixed feelings about him, too, so I'm gonna keep my opinions to myself. <laughs> They're two alike. They are two alike. But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, like, I don't know. Bro, I don't know. He needs help. I think he knows he needs help, but he's he can't admit that he needs help. So his best bet is to get himself locked up, I guess. Um, well, he won't be contacting me now because he's black. He's blocked. No, like, but Nature Boy was in the beginning. Like, he was already like this. Like, I don't, I can't blame nobody but him. I don't like the giving credit to other people. I blame him. There's no one to blame but him. <laughs> Who were sure Nature Boy or Fair? I still think Nature Boy might be, he might got the cake. Nature Boy been doing the toxic shit live for a while. Not gonna hold you. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's on Pharaoh. Pharaoh needs to, excuse me, Marshall. Marshall needs to get his shit together and that's exactly what I told him and that's what he'd be mad because I tell him I hold him accountable for his actions get your shit together I've never said you could not see Heyru up until now I've never said that to you I've tried to meet you to take him places to make a thing out of it 
you want to be able to come to my parents' house and see Heyru. That's what you want to do. That's why you keep saying that. And I don't understand that. You can't come here. I already explained what happened with Nature Boy. I don't like Nature Boy. I've never off the off the handshake with Nature Boy. Is his energy was disgusting. Like disgusting. That is a disgusting individual. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's blocked now. That's it. I try. And because like he's gonna try and like I hate when he do that to Hey Rule. Like he like Hey Rule said that mommy, he did say that. Her rule said that I ruined uh the fuck did he say I ruined? I'm ruined Mother's Day. He said I ruined Mother's Day because I was being mean. But uh <laughs> I was being mean. But I asked the rule this morning. I said, Hey Ru, how was I being mean? You was yelling at me. I said, Well, why was I yelling at you, Hey Ru? Because I wasn't listening. Oh. So why ain't you tell your dad that? Because now he online talking about. Listen, everybody that is in Buffalo that cares about this man has tried to reach out to him. He don't care, y'all. It's 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 bad. It's really, really bad. Like I just think he's chemically unbalanced. Like, and I, I do, like. That's why I told him, I said, bro, he's four. I don't buy him a toy, he calling me mean. Like, I'm okay, that was fine. But don't press me about what's going on over here when you don't do shit. You don't do nothing. <laughs> like, don't press me about what's going on. He did. He did call me mean. That's exactly what he said out of his mouth. And Heru come up with some wild ass stories too. But Heru going, if you would have, if he would have done what he did as a father and asked him like, well, what was your mother doing to be mean? She was yelling. Well, Heru, why was your mom yelling? Oh, because I wasn't listening. Then you could have told him, hey, Rue, you should listen to your mom when she's talking to you. Girl, girl, the, the version, like, and that's why I be saying, like, he don't think he's a liar, though, so I don't know. <laughs> Will he be able to have supervised visits? I am willing to... Meet. I was willing before this. I was willing to meet up with that man. I was willing to drive to Cleveland and he can fly into Cleveland because he was so scared of coming to Buffalo or so worried about coming to Buffalo because it's not safe. I was willing to drive to Pennsylvania, Cleveland. What else is near me? That's really about it. But somewhere along those lines, that's not too far where I can drive and take a five, six hour drive. I was willing to do that. I was willing to do that. I just won't be, I just, mm -mm. he gotta get some help. I don't know. Girl got a whole, he do got a whole brother who is nothing like him either. Like, <laughs> I fuck with his brother though. He chill, like he really chill. I love him to death. Like I fuck with him and he'd be like, you know, if you need anything, let me know, you know, but even when he was here, like how he was blacking on his aunt, they was having Sunday dinners before he left for Texas. They was going to her house every weekend to eat. I think that man has a history of people having mental health problems on in his family and like, I think that a uh, real talk though i honestly feel like he mental health like mental health issues are on his family is like on his family side so i honestly feel like something is wrong and he just needs to go get some help no and don't get me wrong he was at 14 he was living on the streets and shit like that but i know when he was in jail like he was just saying when he was in jail like you know he was forgiving everybody even his mom and they was gonna have a fresh start so they did do that and if i'm not mistaken him and his aunt was even talking about because she have a daycare talking about doing a daycare or something so the, but he was acting weird before the shrooms is what i'm saying y'all like shrooms yes the shrooms took him off because you're not supposed to do shrooms um 
you're not supposed to do shrooms when you're in the state of mind that he is in right now. So you're not supposed to do shrooms. And I get that. So, um, he, I feel like he did shrooms and had a bad trip and continuously had a bad trip. But we're past, like, shrooms and shit like that. He's chemically unbalanced. That's honestly what I believe. I believe he has manic episodes. He has really, he get really low or he get really high. There is no middle. There is no in between. Yeah, like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, when he was in jail, I'm telling you, if I find, if I find them letters, I'm going to post them. I think I might have burnt them, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, like, he's just, like, this is just him. He really is in his lower self all the way. Did he really shoot up the house? So, he, I don't want to say shoot up the house, but did he send one shot in the house with Golden and the babies in there? Yeah. So, like, he, he just, he has no control. And that's, but even before this shit, like, yeah, he, but then, but before I went down to Texas, I remember he, him calling me, like, when him and Golden broke up, I remember him just saying, like, Camille, I feel like my old self is trying to, is trying to come out, and, you know, I'm trying my hardest to hold it back, and I remember telling him, Pharaoh, do not do that. If you let the old you come out out of nowhere, you are going to be seen as crazy. But to me, now that I'm looking back, I honestly wish I would have told him to go get some counseling, to go get some help, to, I don't know, like, because I, I just, I didn't think it was going to be like, I didn't think it was going to be anything like this. He's missing, he's so, un but he has been unhappy for so long. And I just think that's A, from jumping from relationship to relationship. He has no time since he's been home since what, 2015, maybe? I don't even fucking know. Whatever year he came home, 17, 2017. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Whenever he came home, like if you think about it, he has been in relationships after relationships after relationships with no break. He has never had no time to himself to really learn what it is and adjust even from coming home, coming from jail. Like he's never adjusted from that by himself. Like he, he never, he's never taken the time to be by himself. I don't, he doesn't know what he wants. Do you think he will go to jail? I do. He just need, he needs help. And that's all I keep telling him. Even last night, I'm like, Pharaoh, go to counseling. Go get some help. And I'm just like, and I'm like, Pharaoh, like, you know, you've come so, but that's why I told him, like, you've come so far from where you were in 2011. That's what I was proud of. And I told him, it's, and it's crazy to me because throughout his whole journey, without the whole years, I've definitely have texted him and told him, like, I'm proud of who you, who you have become. Because some of your friends are still in the street. Some of your friends are not doing nothing. Some of your friends are dead. Some of your friends are, you know, not where, you know, where you are. Look what you did. You came home. I've always given him credit for that. I've always talked to him like that. I've always. And it's just. 2015. There you go. I'm like, I don't remember what year right now, but whatever year that was that he came home, I definitely was twisting his hair, but, and I told him that, I said, you need to take your mental health seriously. Like men, women, whoever, if you going through some shit, it's okay to go see a counselor. It's okay to go get some help. It's okay to talk to somebody. I don't care if he go to the forest for a month and don't have no phone and no way to contact nobody. Yeah. Oh God. All right, for real, y'all, this time, I'm gone. I gotta go. It's his pride and his ego. I could really do this shit all day because I'm not gonna lie. He definitely had me live it today. Y'all lucky Hey Ru came in the room and calmed me down. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. But yeah. And I wouldn't mind going through this behind closed doors, but the fact that it's all on social media and the fact that he just keeps trying to like throw my name throw my name in the dirt like I don't know 
he and that's how I feel. He is destroying himself and then blaming everybody under the sun for destroying himself when it's like that's not the case at all. Like everybody's not out to get you. Like everybody that has been here for you, you literally push to the side so you can bring new people in and change their views on on whatever the fuck is going on. I think any female that deals with this broken man right now is just stupid, if you ask me, because he's clearly not well. He's clearly not telling the truth. Like, <laughs> this atmosphere. He just wants y'all attention. Well, he got it today. He won't get it. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm just done. Like, I... And then it's just crazy to me because, like, there was a time when Haru was in Houston, we got in a disagreement, and I had to discipline Haru, but I couldn't discipline Haru because he was over the phone. And he was just like, see what happens when you... um you know mess with your support or something like that i have your child right now why can we not have a normal conversation why can we not come to agreements without all of this why does everything have to go online we ain't been online with none of our other arguments we've been arguing this whole time like, we've been arguing for the past six years, constantly. We've been arguing before. Ain't the first time you call me a bitch. Ain't the first time I call him a bitch ass nigga. Like, we've been arguing before. So, I don't know. Like, it's just, I just think it's stupid. But, like, just, this man is, is really something, something seriously wrong with him. Either it's going to end really bad. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm gone. I gotta go.